What's up guys? It's Blazing Face here. Some of you guys may know me from Face Defeats, but unfortunately that project is over. Luckily, me and my buddy Dan Wave hi. Hey, what's up? Have now have now started a new project called Salt and Pepper. And of course, as you guys can see from my shirt, I'm salt. He's pepper. Makes sense? I hope so. And for our first official live video, we're doing an unboxing for Tales of Exilia 2 for the PlayStation 3. Now, as you guys can see, it's a, like always, it's a pretty big box. It's always happy, you guys, as you guys can see, I love boxes. Mm -hmm. But, it's a pretty box, as you guys can see. Lovely, 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 lovely. But, y'all know how I do it. First, I'm going to read what's on the back of the box. So, included in it is, of course, uh, a CD, like a soundtrack, you guys know that. Uh, a steel box, steel box, steel book. Love those, as you guys know. Uh, next, we got the, I don't know how to say his name, it's like Lud Ludger Kresnik figure. This guy, right there. Good. Comes with an art book. Love those too. Comes with a Rollo plushie charm, the little tiny cat thingy. Also comes with a pocket watch. That's going to be pretty cool. And it comes with, of course, some DLC. So, let's break this baby open. Oh, and of course, my good buddy Dan, Pepper, and the guy at GameStop kind of made me get this. I'm not mad about it. I wasn't going to get it. You're a little mad. I'm a little mad. I'm, mad. I'm glad I got it, but I'm not glad that it was like 35 bucks. 32 30, yeah, 32. Still too much money for a book that I'm not going to use. It's going to stay in that package for you. But back to the unboxing, shall we? Take some time to get a good whiff of it, too. Good yeah, sniff. Seriously, there's nothing like the new game smell. Mm -hmm. You gamers know what I'm talking about. Y'all got like, oh, I know what he's talking about. It's like people who drive cars, they got that new car smell. I don't care about it, I don't care about cars, but this is my car. <laughs> Alright. Open it up. The first thing we see is the plushie. It's actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. I thought <laughs> I thought it was gonna be really small, because usually stuff like this is really small. Uh normally I don't open this kind of stuff, but for our first video, I'll open it. Yeah, I can reseal it. I'll open it. Yeah. And it's got a little thing so you can like put it in your car. Like I was just saying. And I was reading the back of the strategy guide, and I guess these little guys are the collectibles of the game. Cute. <laughs> okay, on to the next thing. Put that right there. Next thing we see is this. Which by its weight, I'm guessing, is the pocket watch. If I can get it out. There we go. Alrighty then. Oh, and you can see a little cool Tales of Exilia 2 on the box. Cool. <laughs> oh, even that, look at that, even got a little another one. Tales of Exilia 2. Wow, they really want you to know the name of the they game. They really want to know the name of the game. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a bag. Um, wow. Sure. Yeah, makes sense. And it comes with, I guess, instructions on how to use it. Because some people don't know how to use a watch. <laughs> Wow. Look at time. This is Read different. time. This is top notch. It's not plastic, so you guys know. Because usually stuff like this is crappy on plastic, but it's really, like, really heavy. Get a good look at the graphics. And of course, of course, it says Tales of Exilia 2 on the back. Right, because I haven't forget the name. Yeah, I forgot the name already. Yeah. And of course, you open it up, and first, you see all that. See yourself in the camera? Do you? Hey, Dan! Of course, the only thing is, I guess it's not a real watch. Mm. That bad? Some of you, maybe. To me, it's cool, because it's probably collectible from inside the game. So, booyah. More memorabilia from me, right? Love it. All right. All right, he just, for those of you who didn't just see, he just checked himself out in the mirror. I didn't check myself out in the mirror. I was looking at it, because it looks cool. Uh -huh. All right. Let me put this away real quick. Mm. Alright, 
the way. Next up, it looks like we got... Oh, I guess they... Did it this way. They did it the same way Assassin's Creed 4 did it. Was it 4? The one with, um... Native Americans. Was that 4? It was 3. That was 3. Thank you, Dan. 3. Now they did it that way. Where they um, give my you... name is Pepper. Pepper. Okay, Pepper. I'm talking Pepper. Where they give you the game separate from the Steelbook. Mm. I don't know if you guys ever... If you guys pre-ordered from GameStop, you would have gotten a Steelbook for Assassin's Creed 3. I did, so I obviously got it, but it wasn't... There was no game in it. It was just blank. So I guess that's what they did with this. Not too mad about that. I mean, I... Oh. Okay, I completely lied. Do I have two games? Nope. I lied again. It just looks like a game. But I read it. So this is actually the Steelbook case is for the soundtrack. Uh -huh. That makes sense. And this is obviously the DLC, which I'm not going to show you guys. But let's see if I can at least tell you what's in the DLC. In the DLC, you get a theme, of course. You always get a theme. And you get some costumes, it would seem. And that is pretty much it. I'm not mad about it. I love costumes. Because number Tales of Exilia 1 had a lot of cool costumes. So I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad about that at all. So many cool costumes. So many cool costumes. Oh, yeah. And if you guys didn't see, cool steelbook case all around. Of course, the cast. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then, of course, the game. Nothing special. Just, just a game. <laughs> just a plastic box. Yeah, just a plastic box. That's all. Next up, we see the art book. It's actually skinnier than I thought it was going to be. But you guys know how we do it. I had a nickel for it. I heard that one. I'm going to leave that one alone. Moving on. Leave that one alone. As you guys know, I'm going to do a quick flip through. Number one. And chipmunks. So, there's the artwork for you. Pretty cool. As you guys might have seen, there's going to be a lot of reoccurring characters from the first one, which is going to be pretty cool. Kind of hope they're... I hope that they're more integrated than, like, oh, hey, I was from the first game, then, bye, never see me again. That would be kind of stupid. But, we can only hope, right? Mm-hmm. And next comes the best part. The box it came in. The box it came in, yeah. Oh my god. If you're a cat. <laughs> it's like stuck in the box. There's something keeping it in there. And there it is. Look at that. It gets its own little like carrying case. Look how cool this is. Ludger Kresnik, everybody. Look at that handsome face. Of course, I am going to open it, even though I don't like opening things like this. But I kind of want to see how good this actor is. And of course, I forgot my handy dandy knife. It's okay. What is this amateur hour? Yeah, it's amateur hour. Okay. No, it's not. We're pros at this. We are top pros at this. The thing is, the pros, pros, they always open things first. Take a look at this beautiful face. We're opening this for the first time ever, people. Check it out. Hey, ladies. How you doing? Oh, maybe we should have a little bit of a seizure there. I'm going to speed through this, ladies. So you know. I'm so sorry, folks, for all that you're seeing here. Look at this. Look at this. Why is this necessary? I'm trying to discourage you from opening it so that just, are they? it collects its gets more value when it's unopened. More tape? No, what a surprise. Crescentic statue. If you guys watch my other videos, my other unboxings, you guys know I always like to compare 
the statues to the one you got with Bioshock Infinite. And I'm going to continue that trend. Because to this day, that statue is still the best statue I've ever seen. Excluding the Titanfall statue, which is kind of over the top. <laughs> but this is actually pretty cool. But it's not heavy at all. Like, I feel like if this was to fall, it wouldn't break at all. Not cheap. Not at all cheap. It's just not as up to par to the Bioshock Infinite one. That's all. That's all. But, there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, for those of you who played any Tales games, I would suggest getting this one. It's pretty much upgraded in every way possible. I can't think of anything that they didn't do in this game, to be honest. But, it's gonna be good. I paid $149.99 for this, the whole shebang bang. Shebang bang. So, if you guys are collectors, I suggest trying to get it. But, as far as I know, they're sold out anywhere, everywhere. So, good luck. Kind of like the last Tales of Symphonia collector's edition. That's, that was gone like that. I didn't Look on it. eBay. I didn't, yeah. If you want to pay the extra 100 bucks to get it, go for it. But... Yeah, if you played any other Tales games, I just getting this one too. It's going to be probably the best one. I can't say that because I haven't played it, but I am expecting it to be the best one. But you guys can probably expect videos from us later. Even if it's just like just boss fights or something. We'll do something for you guys because we love you, of course. Say it, Dan. Yeah, we love you. See? I he guess. said it too. I got him to say it. Record this. Well, we are <laughs> recording it. <laughs> Funny. Okay. But, yeah, that's it. No more phase defeats, so there's no outro, really. Just salt and pepper here. But you still have blazing phase. Still got blazing phase. Just now I got a buddy. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time.